Hey YouTube, uh, I thought I'd make a video quick. I made an improvement to, I, I had built a portable 12 volt box a while back. Um, as you can see, it's overcast here. So, just thought I'd see how it works, get it packed up before it rains. Here's my panel. We're still collecting and blinking. Everything's great, even in overcast. Uh, this thing will still charge, which I love. Uh, this box I built a while back. I use it for picnics, camping, power outages, that sort of thing. Um, I just now added. I just now added the solar feature. So uh, on the front here, those are my control. Those are my ports. The side one is for the solar panel. Uh, this will be for a load coming off of the solar, so when it's charging, it can run something beside. So open it up. There's my control box. We're charging off the solar, and the battery's good. So I just have it wired up to this cord. Unplug when you want to pack it up. Inside, we have start power, upside down, lithium ion. I went with that versus lead acid just for weight, uh, reliability, cycles, and how long it'll last. Storage. Uh, people complain about Gold Zero. Uh, when they store them, they pull them out the next year to use them. They're no good. They don't take a charge. So it's a 12-volt lithium ion. It was a bit pricey, but it's dependable. It's lightweight, and it will last me a long time. I have circuit breakers, uh, inline fuses, and very clean wiring for a control panel. All silicone, everything's waterproof. Um, I can close it up and it's self contained when I'm not charging. Power off, unplug it, turn my switch, close my port. That powers down the box. Close it up and I'm good to go. Um, like I said, I have a wide range of options for what I can plug into it. I stuck with the standard 12 volt sockets just because there's so many features. Uh, they're waterproof, uh, they work well. I have a few things here. I can plug in my inverter. Um, got plugs on that, USB, I have a 12 volt gauge, I can plug that in, see what I'm reading, I have uh, USB ports, I mean cell phones, little fans, little griddles, uh, tons of things, camping, hiking, um, but for power outages, it just sits in the back hall, and I pull it out. Uh, you can charge computers. Uh, you can run a little TV. You can run Xbox, PlayStation. You know, get yourself some inverters. Plug those in. Um, I also have a small inverter that just one outlet that plugs right in. I think that's in the house. So yeah, it's um, it's great. Power on my inverter. We're good to go. Plug in whatever you want. Um, I'm not even charging now, I'm just free. So I can also charge it obviously off. I have a lithium ion charger, 12 volt charger I can use. I can use any 12 volt system basically to charge it. Um, it doesn't have to be off of solar, that's just a benefit, you know. I can fire up the generator. Uh, I can charge this during the day with the generator and run the battery at night in the camper, campground, whatever, nice and quiet. Uh, take it hiking. Obviously, you got to carry a dry box with you, but you know if you're tenting and you're not going real far, you want to backpack in. It, it's a great, you know, it's a great thing to have. Uh, stay connected with the world. Have all your toys, whatever you want, flashlights, drills you name it and like I said obviously I can wire it up for a 24 volt panels good to go for a 24 um, I really like that panel I'm definitely picking up another one of those maybe two uh, this one's all right it's great for backpacking throwing it in 
Oh, it's working. We have a charge. You know, you can plug in quick, charge your cell phones, that sort of thing. I do like it for that. It's handy. It's small. Works. So, in conjunction with that, and one of these panels that you get for trolling motors, fences, that sort of thing. Not so much. Definitely like that. I'm set up. Good to go. Hope you enjoy. Stay safe. God bless. Take care.